Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for October 27th. I'm going to read to you today from the book of Proverbs, the 17th chapter, verses 13 and 14 in the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible. If a man returns evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so quit before the quarrel breaks out. This is the Word of God. <clears throat> Luther wrote, the heathen everywhere, despite their ignorance of God and his grace, condemned even to the utmost the evil of ingratitude. They regarded it as the mother of evils, than which was none more malevolent and shameful. Among many examples in this respect is one left us by a people in Arabia called the Nabathians, who had an excellent form of government. So strict were they in regard to this evil that anyone found guilty of ingratitude to his fellows was looked upon as a murderer. And punished with death. No sin is more abominable to human nature, and of none is human nature less tolerant. It is easier to forgive and forget the act of an enemy who commits a bodily injury or even murders one's parents than it is to forget the sin of him who repays simple kindness and fidelity with ingratitude and faithlessness, who for love and friendship returns hatred. In the sentiment of the Latin proverb, to be so rewarded is like rearing a serpent in one's bosom. God, likewise, regards this sin with extreme enmity and punishes it. Thus we have the teaching of nature and of reason regarding the sin of men's ingratitude toward one another. How much greater the evil, how much more shameful and accursed, when manifested toward God, who in his infinite and ineffable goodness conferred upon us while yet enemies of him and deserving of the fires of hell, not ten dollars, not a hundred thousand dollars even, but redemption from divine wrath and eternal death, and abundantly comforted us, granting safety, a good conscience, peace, and salvation. These are inexpressible blessings, incomprehensible in this life, and they will continue to occupy our minds in yonder eternal life. How much more awful the sin of ingratitude for these blessings, as exemplified in the servant mentioned in the gospel to whom was forgiven the debt of ten thousand talents, and who yet would not forgive the debt of his fellow servant, who owed him a hundred pence. It's pretty easy to get stirred up, isn't it? Uh, to get angry with somebody who's uh, been mean to you, been faithless to you, or hasn't been kind to you, hasn't even been uh, friendly enough or social enough to uh, return a hello or a handshake or a smile, let alone when you've done them some good and they aren't even grateful for it at all. Uh, I could give you a thousand examples, but you don't have the time and you've got plenty of examples of your own. So be careful to be grateful especially grateful to God. Uh, offer to him the, the, uh, the thanksgiving that's due him uh, for all the great kindness that he's extended to us, especially for forgiveness of sins, for salvation, for eternal life, and on top of it all, a relationship with his Son. For these we should be eternally thankful starting today. So let's pray. We do thank you, Lord. We are grateful for all that you have done for us. Help us to be grateful for what our neighbor has done for us, especially, especially, especially those closest neighbors, our family, and then our church family. Help us to appreciate what they have done for us. Let us act in kind to them, but for your sake. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me today for Reading the Word with Luther. I'll be back again tomorrow. I hope you will be too.